Something I've come to respect about Kevin Owens is that right or wrong, he always fights for what he believes in. Yeah, KO's internal compass might be unpredictable at times, but he's never afraid to take a stand and scrap for what he thinks is right. And that attitude has at times made Owens the underdog in his matches, but he always manages to give his all in the ring. I'm sure Owens is ready to show us that same heart now. And he's in for a hell of a fight against the one and only Grayson Waller. Every time Grayson Waller has a microphone in his hand, you can hear the collective groan of the WWE Universe. But when he gets rolling on offense, those groans do turn into gasps. Oh, wow. Oh. Kick to the gut and, oh, brutal forearm. Oh, Kevin Owens is a hard-headed competitor who can be stubborn as a bull inside the ring. Is there any way his opponent can turn that into their advantage here? Well, any superstar's strength can also be their weakness. If it were me in the ring, I'd try to fluster him by being cagey with my offense. If you only engage with Owens on your terms, he's sure to get frustrated and start making mistakes. Catches the leg. Look at this, going counter for counter. That might be it. Break it. Break and he is saved hole. by the ropes. Escapes in a nick of time. He's back into the ring. Caught him with a big boot. On the mark. Connects on the kick. Catches the kick into a dragon screw leg whip. Isolating their opponent's arm and oh. Oh, oh. stop right to the hand. And if the first stop doesn't send you the message, the follow up ones definitely will. Come on, there's no fair play in that. Prime example of working smarter, not harder. That's what I say. He is mentally and physically exhausted now. Yeah, he's got it. Uh-oh, he could be looking for a submission here. Campbell clutches in. No, he lets him out. Yeah, I think he knew he, he can do it here. One, two, that's three. Let me hear and this one is over. Cora Jay looking to continue her climb up the ranks in the women's division here. She's obviously a woman focused on her own agenda. I don't think you can blame her, Cole. She's got all the intangibles it takes to reach the top of the division, and she's only getting started. I'm excited to see what she has up her sleeve for her opponent. Hopefully, Jay can accomplish that within the rules of the ring, Corey. We know she has a killer instinct and no qualms using anything she can get her hands on. She's taking on the self-proclaimed prodigy, Roxanne Perez. Living up to a moniker like that is hard to do. But Perez is more than willing to do the work and earn it one match at a time. Oh, solid kick across the back. And experience has to be one of the bigger hurdles for Roxanne Perez to overcome here. Don't you agree, Corey? Perez knows she's inexperienced compared to some of the other superstars on the roster, Cole, but I think she's been able to turn that into a positive and learn from each match. She's definitely gone into this one looking at it as an opportunity to grow. Looks like Roxanne has the inside track now. Yeah, we can certainly see that Perez has learned from the past and is capitalizing on it, making the best of her in-ring learning opportunities. Not so fast. Hurricane Rana. Good grief. And just like that, we've kicked the tempo up a notch. Roxanne Perez looking for with Pop Rocks. That can be Jade's demise. One, two count. It's over. And now about do it, folks. 